Hello, how are you? How are we doing today? How was our day? I am Michelle, Michelle Estocaza from Back to Source. So glad you are here with me today again. So we meet again. In this episode, I wanted to do a, a following episode of the video I filmed before about meditation and law of attraction. But tonight and last night is the last super full moon for the year. I know, I know, each moon is a full moon, no, but this is, come on, this is a special full moon. And I'm going to dedicate this episode to the full moon because the full moon of this month is in Scorpio. In Scorpio, aka one of the representative symbols of the Kundalini, which is the main life force energy. However, Scorpion also symbolizes passion. It symbolizes passion and passion as we know it's not just something passion between a, as a sexual between a interaction no it's a passion for life it's an interaction between us and life Scorpio is also representative representative of uh, it's got courage it's got courage and it represents death and life and new beginnings with passion towards life these days are so sensitive and we are all of us cooped up most of the day in our houses yeah doing hikes here and there but still we feel the quarantine and so on top of the quarantine that all of these emotions suddenly were stuck between us between ourselves and and our four walls of our place and our four, four walls within ourselves and there's a lot of you know just cooped up and the last period of time through this coronavirus a lot of things came to surface a lot of past uh, experiences emotions traumas anxieties anger uh, things that you know things that things that we were carrying with us that were kept un under the carpet. So these last few days, those things came to the surface because, because we can't go out anywhere besides inside our phone. But also, I, I hope most of us were, were taking advantage of these days and also exploring inside. In Scorpio, death, life, new beginnings and good passion and courage courage to confront our biggest fears to confront our past traumas to confront whatever is those little demons we have there's no such things as demons yeah it's all in our head all of those shadows they're good teachers once we agree to acknowledge them as experiences we had in this life that occurred to us in order for us to evolve, to learn and to evolve from them. You know, we have a saying that's, uh, that, uh, that goes, God doesn't give you lessons or experiences that he doesn't think that you could overcome. And we should remember that. We do not get challenges just throw out of our into our faces just like that. Every acquaintance, every experience, every challenge, every difficulty. They're all beautiful forms of teachers and lessons which we can and may and shall evolve from. Full moon. No, moving ahead. Full moon. Full moon. The moon as we know affects the tides the tide i need to get one of these standing thingies this is with my phone and i'm just bending over but i don't feel like holding my phone okay full moon the moon is uh, in dialogue with the, the tides of the ocean why right? tides going up tides going up. the moon affects that we know that right if not google moon and tides of the ocean we also as well are 70 80 percent water and therefore, it's not just in a coincidence that always when there's scary movies, you see the people uh, coming out when there's like full moon, you know. I actually did want something about a moon. 
and literally I googled and through the time zones of full moon the crime and everything would have went up so when the full moon occurs it affects the waters and the tides and that means it affects everything from within us and if we already already from the beginning of this corona period we're already cooped up in home already challenged with all of these voices between our, our walls our our mind our heart our soul our body everything's like Ugh. so now at the full moon it's even it's you know probably a bit even more intense so i want to say something about this beautiful period each month when the full moon occurs because when the full moon comes it it affects the tides the waters and it brings to surface now when it when it brings things to surface okay uh, it actually gives us very good clarity of where we are in the in terms of where we want to be that means that patterns emotions thoughts memories experiences traumas any little bean that we are still with us it's, we're still, you know, cowing, schlepping on our back. It becomes really, it becomes really bright what we are. What's still on us, on our shoulders, and what is not serving us anymore. And let's just, you know, let's get them out of the way. And it's not just let's get them out of the way. It doesn't work like that. But it does work that if we agree to observe all of these things that are coming up to surface, if we absorb them in a non-judgmental, because we come from the attitude that everything is here to serve our personal growth and development, and when we come like that, when we come to these experiences, to these emotions with that kind of attitude, like a good mama that's just observing her kid, letting it, allowing it to experience itself, so there's no place for judgmental, for personal judgment or criticism. Not relevant. It's not relevant because what is occurring at the moment, that's what's occurring. So it's either you're going to observe it with a non-judgmental, non-critical, only loving and compassion eyes. You maintain that attitude with all of these things that coming to surface. You maintain that attitude of love, compassion, non-judgmental, critical, literally, literally only simply, simply accepting. That attitude allows those experiences that are on your shoulder to move on. Now, when we observe those emotion, memories, experiences with that attitude, and those things those baggage move on it's not that they're not gonna you know maybe meet us around the car the corner at a future time but our whole attitude to the thing wouldn't be like oh my god it's gonna be like mm, love you hey uh, past fear past trauma past anxiety you came to check up what's on me you're getting my heart beating you're getting my butt my blood pumping you could, you could sit right here on my lap. All is good. You be here. And I'll stay here with my Zen Center focus, focusy thingy. Just focusing on, you know, positive stuff. Focusing on positive stuff. If I get a, if I'm starting to get wound up in a, in a loop of negative and putting myself down, I'll just cut that and start fishing out things to be gratitude for. And thank you for being such a beautiful lesson for all of the experience and the lesson that came out of our acquaintance, old memory, which I cannot delete you, so I might as well just accept you and love you just the way you are. Because this, our experiences are, are part of who we are today. So we should just be in full-on gratitude and thank you for each and every experience. We should always remember that... As my mom likes to say, better than some and not as good as others, you know? So no matter in which point at life we are right, right now, it could always be worse. And thank God that it could always be better because then we always have things to look forward for. 
So that's what I wanted to say about this month, full moon, Scorpio, Kundalini, life force energy. Uh, but just life force energy, you know? And I would give us a beautiful, uh, a beautiful ceremonial thing we could do with ourselves with this full moon that brings to surface everything that we thought we digged deep down. Now it's like coming up even more. If there was anything that wasn't coming up at this quarantine time, so now it's even, now these days for sure it's coming up. Uh, okay, so take a pen and a paper. Not now. Whatever. Or pause. Go get a pen. No, but do this with yourself. A beautiful full moon ceremony. This is something I do back home sometimes in full moon workshops that I give. Pen and paper. Write down. What was it? <laughs> write down. Uh, write down your vision. Write down where you would like to see yourself next year from now two years from now, now, five years from now. On one page, write down your life vision. For now, yeah, maybe next year you're gonna have a different vision, but put focus on where you wanna get to. And then take another piece of paper and write down all the things that pull you down. Write down all the things you find yourself telling yourself that pull you down. Write down all the memories that Put you down that challenge you you know I think I think I confused I think the first page should be to write down all the things that bring you down that should be the first page and the second page should be the life vision so first page write down all the things that bring you down whether it's whether it's things you tell yourself whether it's memories whether it's any just write down all the shit just put it down on paper <laughs> and on the second page just write everywhere you want to be like just put down there your life vision and you could also add in some gratitudes and now for the ceremony take a small flame a candle or something and the paper with all the things that bring you down fold it small and burn it burn it now in the indian uh, tradition they have a belief that smoke is a carrier of our prayers so we have here be two beautiful metaphoric things that are happening. First of all, we're burning away everything that you know brings us down, just burning it away. And second of all, uh, I just love Indians. I met this cute guy that he has like a grandpa, but he's not answering my call. <sighs> Never mind. Second, ah, so the, the <laughs> got myself confused. The smoke carries away. Uh, our prayers yeah and so that's the second beautiful thing but inside there's another beautiful beautiful thing to pay attention of you know when we smoke we inhale yeah we like to feel that but Indians what they did it's a ceremonial for them every time they smoke they don't just smoke for pleasure and look what a beautiful self-discipline these people have they inhale but they don't inhale they keep it in their mouth and they exhale. Look what a beautiful inspiration for self-discipline they give us through this exercise. <laughs> because we want something, we take it. We have it. This one, no. They bring it to the space. Almost have it. Just let it go. That's a beautiful thing to just, just to just, you know, I have nothing to add on that. Just let it, just let it go inside. So burn it away. And if you have some sage, awesome burn it and if you don't then you know intention is what counts and that's it check out this uh, this beautiful drill of writing down what you don't want writing down what you do want and one you're gonna burn away and the other one you are going to uh, keep the other one the one with the positive things you keep down you keep down that notebook you could take a look next week two weeks next month keep it somewhere thank you very much for being with me I'm Michelle, back to source, and see you later. Do I really need to say, I don't need to say, but you know, subscribe, stuff like that.